What's up guys? Today we got a really, really, really cool video. As you see, there's a big old Matco truck back here. This one belongs to Mr. Matco Jimbo, Jim Theophanopoulos. We're up here in Warren, Michigan, and he's gonna take us inside his truck today and let us check out all the cool tools he's got. Let's see what's different in Michigan versus Mississippi. Come on. This has been a video that I've been wanting to do for quite some time. How are you? I'm good, sir. How are you doing? I'm doing great. So, everybody, this is Matco Jimbo. Uh, if you follow my Instagram, you've obviously seen him tagged in some stuff where we've had the pleasure of meeting and repost and all that good stuff. So, uh, Will you tell everybody your area you run and your phone number? Yeah, I'm right outside of Detroit, Michigan. I'm in Warren, Michigan. I do a little bit of Sterling Heights, Clinton Township, and Madison Heights. My phone number is 586-722-4024. There you go. So if a guy doesn't have a shop or doesn't work at a shop, do you have an issue selling to somebody? Like if they contact you and like, hey man, I just got to have one of those blue ratchets. Not at all. Okay. So there you go, guys. If you're in Michigan and you need a Matco guy, that's the finest one you'll ever see. And in any way you want to take that. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's been a long time coming. I've been wanting to get up here and hang out with you. And we've, we've had the pleasure of meeting and having a few cool drinks before. Yep. Last March. This is, this is cool. Get to come to your home area and look around and check everything out so tell us what is your number one selling ratchet color uh blue blue the, the blue handle thanks to you sir <laughs> you mean people buy tools because of the color i didn't i didn't know that was a thing yes they do <laughs> so that's cool you got a lot of them a whole lot of them actually so what's the best selling one the 11 inch the BFR 128, 3 8 ratchet, flex head, locking mm. flex head, yep. That's my favorite. And can you believe I don't even have one of those in blue? I'm still kicking my orange one. Wow. Sure do. I've got the regular, well, it's this one, except it's a flex head. But, uh, yeah, still rocking the orange. I don't even own a blue one. Well, you need to trade that guy in for a black chrome. Man, I can't trade it in because, like, this is how I've kind of learned. And I, and I, now you got to forgive me. I like to poke fun at my tool dealers. Obviously, if you see my snap on Friday, I say it all the time. It's kind of like, we'll trade like you don't even have one. <laughs> <laughs> I've learned it's better just to buy the tool and keep your old one. But that's just that's just my theory. But I'm sentimental, right? That was my first Matco ratchet. Okay. So. Like, I could understand that. That one's an expensive ratchet to me. Like <laughs> you could get one of the ones I hadn't used a whole lot cheaper than the first one. So, a lot of the guys up here in the north like to trade in. That's why yeah. I got that big bucket of previously enjoyed tools back there. Man, that's a good term, previously enjoyed, and it's full of iron impacts. So you must have been doing some twenty-seven seventy-nine selling. Lots of twenty-seven seventy-nine selling. Yep. Those are monster impacts, dude. That is probably the in my opinion the best tool truck impact made today i would have to agree with you there and then the stubby is right behind it the stubby is a very good tool as it's well awesome like great seller for me awesome so guys up here like obviously you guys deal with way more rust than what we ever dreamed of seeing like what we say is a rusted out piece of crap you guys are like that thing is four star still Cause like I've seen some cars on the way up here, like you could throw a dog through the door of them. It's rusted out so bad, you know? <laughs> so is our impacts more popular still here or is it electric impacts? 
a lot of the guys are switching over to the cordless tools, but I would still say air impacts, you don't got to worry about a dead battery. Uh, powers, you know, it's always there. You don't have to have it charged up or anything like that. But I am seeing a lot of guys switching over to the cordless stuff. Yeah. I'm a fan of air, man. It's just that power to weight ratio. And like you say, the batteries never go bad. They never run down. I just, I'm an air fan. Like, I like it, you know. So what's, oh, you got the new sealed head ratchet. Those are kind of hard to come by. Like, you don't see them very often. I've been on several Matco trucks recently, and. Like the long necks like a, and the sealed heads are, are definitely hard to come like by right now. It's kind like a unicorn and the stubbies, and you got one of them laying right there, too. I have the 3 eighths and I have the half inch, so. Wow, you're doing something right. Some like Matco's <laughs> sending you tools. So did you order any of the guitars? I did. I have four of those guys coming. So for you guys that don't know, Matco Jimbo is a guitar connoisseur as well. Mm-hmm. And uh, a lot of times when me and Jimbo talk, it ain't nothing about tools. Like <laughs> we're drilling over fenders and Gibsons and bourgeois and absolutely all the cool stuff in life. Not Taylors tools. and Martins. <laughs> so tell me some of the other like best selling things that you got on here. That's uh, kind of king of the king right king now. King of the hill. I would say well, would be I, I do, the... Like the first thing I noticed when I was walking up here, the man ain't got one. He's got two of the 4.0s. Yeah, can't just have one. And those are some bad dudes right there. Like, amazing. I would say. Yeah, those hyper step bits are the king. Like in the 50s, they'd call it the bee's knees. The hyper step bits yep. are just... In my opinion, unrivaled. They're amazing. Did you see the video where I drilled through a snap-on wrench with those? I did. Yeah. And it eat it up. So, what's going to be your next best-selling stuff? My next best sellers? Well, I just got some of these new welding gloves in. They had these at our sales meeting a couple weeks ago. So these are the new uh, MIG welding gloves that oh, we have out now. Oh, nice with leather, the smooth leather palms. The smooth leather palms on them. Yeah. Those are cool. Got some of these. Our Savior rifle bags that we got have been extremely popular for me. See, and I, I noticed on your Instagram, guys, if y'all are not following Matco Jimbo, y'all better follow him because, like, he's in the know on all the cool stuff. Like... <laughs> knives holsters like none of my guys carry the desantis holsters and you got them yep like you got to follow somebody like that and that way you always know what to tell your dealer to order well, we're close to detroit up here so <laughs> everybody's packing well, i noticed when i come in the city limits to come through detroit they stop me i'm like oh, what did i do wrong he's like have you got a gun i said yes sir he goes okay just making sure if you didn't have one we we're gonna hook you up <laughs> <laughs> we'll tell you where to find one. I was like, yeah, we're from Mississippi. We've, we've got two or three stashed in here. So, but yeah. Well, man, you've got this thing packed full of tools. The ceiling's full. Like, you got a lot of wrenches. wrenches. So how is the, like, I'm a fan of the Matco Air Hammer too. So how is that new digital camo color doing? Because I know some guys, you either love it or you hate it. It seems like there's no, no we just We just released it in a 3 8 20 bolt cordless gun as well. Um, I do have one of those kits on here too somewhere. I got to find it. Uh, I sold the majority of the camo air hammers once I started handing out the flyer this week because we do have it on sale in our promo flyer right now. And uh, the digital camo is selling extremely well for me. Yeah. We kind of dipped our toe in it a little bit last year with the half-inch cordless impacts. Those also did very well, but, yep. Well, that's cool. Man, you got a great well-stocked truck. Like, I like the way you have it displayed because everything, like, obviously, this is your screwdriver section, but you got every single color. <laughs> it looks really good. Like, you have to look behind. He's got so much stuff. Like, you see the red and the green and the orange and the high vis like it looks really good you did a great job presenting it 
Like it's got me that impulse by wanting to kick in just looking if at you the look way real close you can you can also are. see some other goodies on here yeah got a lot of good stuff on here true 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 man i like this you've done a good job with your uh truck so are, you're a bench made dealer i'm a bench made dealer you know those guys are kind of few and far between like you got to do something right to get in with bench made so. We, uh, Maco, we have a special relationship with them, so cool. we carry their products. They're, I've had a bench made since 1999, I guess. Nice. And no issues with it. You know, it's the auto opening, it swings up the side, and like, you have to give it a drink of oil every now and then because <laughs> all the pocket lint and rinse it out, but it's still kicking, so. Yep. Well, Matt Co. Jimbo, thank you very much for letting us come on your truck today and hang out. Like always, guys, look at this. Blue bottle opener. Wow. That's the first one I've seen in person. Now, we also have the barbecue grill tools and the marshmallow, uh, telescopic marshmallow sticks, too, in the blue. And then you got a blue umbrella. And we got a blue umbrella. Blue Matco umbrella. So, Matt Co. just needs to... What is that old saying? Shit or get off the pot? Let's make some blue tools. Like it's apparent that they're popular. So. Well, you can see they already make the screwdriver handles. So yeah, yes. it is like um, what's that old saying goes? If you're waiting on me, you're backing up. So <laughs> Matco, it's like playing checkers. It's your move now. I think America is ready for blue tools. But tell everybody your phone number once again. That way, if they're passing through or working here out of town and need some tools and want to meet up with a cool dealer and spend some money. Yeah, it's uh, 586-722-4024. You can find me on Facebook, at Mako Jimbo. Instagram, at Mako Jimbo. There you go, guys. All right, guys, like always, thanks for watching. Give Mako Jimbo some love down in the comments. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise. Cool tools and discount codes are down here. And if you're not subscribed, you take your finger and click that button. You guys have a great week. Catch you later. See ya.